You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. August 8th, giving your best, Deuteronomy 17, verse 1. You must not sacrifice to the Lord your God an ox or sheep with a defect or any serious flaw, for that is detestable to the Lord your God. God's love moved him to sacrifice that which meant the most to him, his only son. Our response, if we truly understand his love for us, is the desire to give back to God that which means the most to us. The Old Testament reveals that God set forth high standards for the sacrifices he required of his people. A worthy sacrifice had to cost the people something. As their hearts shifted away from God, the people began struggling to give God costly offerings. They would bring blind, lame, and sick animals, assuming God could not tell the difference. Malachi 1 verse 8. God saw what they were doing and declared their offerings to be in vain. Malachi 1 verse 10. Throughout the Old Testament period, God was setting the stage for the ultimate, perfect, and sinless sacrifice of His Son for the sins of humanity. The offerings we give back to God reveal our heart's condition. A heart that overflows with gratitude for God's love will respond in selfless devotion. If we are unwilling to sacrifice our time, our possessions, our money, or our energy, we indicate that we do not love God as He desires. God takes delight in the person who gives to Him cheerfully out of a loving heart a person who understands that God is the source of everything he has and who knows that God will more than compensate for whatever is sacrificed for him. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. If you struggle in giving your best offerings to God, pause and reflect on what God sacrificed for you. Trust him and give him the best that you have because you love him with all your heart. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, music by Mark Brown. <laughs>